Do you have a younger child that you want to get started with piano lessons? How do you start a budding musician on their musical journey? Let's talk about a few ways this journey can start. Firstly, it's important to remember that one of the largest barriers for piano lessons at a young age is physical. Most toddlers don't have the strength, the dexterity, or hand size to make music on the piano. The youngest children that can begin effective piano lessons tend to be five years old, but there are certainly exceptions depending on a child's development. Despite that, there are many ways to spark a child's interest in music early without lessons. There are many parallels between emergent literacy in spoken language and emergent literacy in music. Let's look at a few. Narrative skills. Before a child learns an instrument, they can learn a lot by exploring the instrument they were born with, their bodies. Singing simple songs, dancing to tunes, or clapping and tapping a beat are all great ways to get your young child involved with music making. Print motivation. Just like a child might be interested in books, a child can also find interest in music. This may take many forms, whether it's listening to songs together, exploring physical instruments, or examining the notated music. Understanding is not key here. These are simply ways to introduce musical ideas and get a child excited about them. Vocabulary. Just because a child isn't enrolled in lessons doesn't mean they can't start learning the names of musical things. This can start with instrument names, genres of music, or even names of famous composers. Kids love big words and might get a kick out of trying to say Ludwig von Beethoven. Letter recognition. A child who is interested in printed and notated music can start to learn the visual differences between high and low notes, or distinguish between simple rhythms. If you can read music, a great way to get a child involved in recognizing things on the page is to listen to a song you have music for and simply point and sing. A child doesn't need to be able to read music to follow along with you, and eventually might start to begin to recognize some of the patterns. Phonological awareness. Long versus short, loud versus soft, high versus low are all characteristics that notes can have that are easy for a child to understand. Letting them hear and spot the differences can be great for their ears and confidence. An easy game to play is a back and forth game where one person asks for a kind of sound and the other person makes it. Starting simple with one request at a time can quickly lead into more fun and challenging requests, like asking for a short sound that is both soft and high pitched. When involving a child in musical activities, make sure that priority number one is to have fun. Whether it's listening to music or sitting at the piano, create an association between music making and joy. There are lots of ways to introduce fun into a music making setting. Hoffman Academy has several online music games, which you can find a link to in the description. As you can see, there are lots of great ways to start musical learning from a very young age. What ways do you get your kids involved in music? Let us know in the comments. If you want a great song to play with your child, check out the link to our Baby Shark tutorial down in the description. We bring you great music tutorials every week. See you next time.